Good evening everyone, it is once again Ted the Speed Learner and tonight we're going to start a video series on a guy named Rene Descartes and there is a good reason for doing so because so many people have attributed the Cartesian coordinate system to this guy right here. Okay. I hate to break it to you, but he didn't exactly invent the Cartesian coordinate system. It's not quite that simple. He did lay, lay the foundation for it, but he didn't actually create it himself. Okay, There were some later authors that added a couple things to it to finally make the Cartesian coordinate system, but you could actually follow his work. However, he did invent one thing that was very, very interesting. Have you ever seen... Uh, the letters A, B, and C. Well, to him, those beginning letters were known values in equations like this. However, when you are dealing with X, Y, and Z, you're dealing with unknown values. And you'll see this not only with letters like, say, X, Y, and Z from the English alphabet, but you will also see it from uh, letters taken from Koine Greek because sometimes they use Koine Greek letters in these mathematical equations. Uh -huh. Get ready for that. That's why you have to know Koine Greek. All right, so there you go. Well, it, that's one of the reasons why you have to know Koine Greek, but we'll go ahead and explain this in just a minute. All right. Let's start with some basic facts about René Descartes. He was born in 1596 in the country of France. A year later, his mother died by giving birth to a stillborn baby, which would have been his sibling, okay? All right. Now, René Descartes himself was raised by his grandmother and his great uncle. In 1607, he attended the Jesuit College Royal Henry Le Grand. Now... Why was it called Henry Le Grand? Well, uh, it would have been Henry the Great, okay? Because grand means great. This is this is when Rene Descartes got his first experience with mathematics. Now he did learn from Pappus, Apollonius, and Euclid all three, so he was not tremendously opposed to any of their mathematics, just not at all. Anybody tells you that just doesn't know the story. They, they really don't. Anyway, in 1618, Rene Descartes joined the Protestant Dutch state army and became a mercenary. He refined his mathematical skills while serving in this army. Many believe that Rene Descartes is the inventor of, the, of analytical geometry. Much of it can be attributed to him, but not all of it. But the main thing is he was uh, credited with the creation of the Cartesian coordinate system. And you're going to hear this story about a fly flying on the ceiling and he kept track of the fly. Okay, for those of you who have been telling people about this fly on the ceiling thing, I want you to leave in the comments section below an original document that clearly states this because I did not find anything quite like that. And I didn't see anything like that in this book either. At least not so far. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but I can tell you right now from what I've seen so far, I've been looking at illustration after illustration and it, the Cartesian coordinate system just isn't there. Did he plot points? Sure. But not the true Cartesian coordinate system. Okay? So if you got more precise on that, I'd like to hear it. But it has to be an original document that he actually wrote. I don't want to hear any secondhand story. I want to hear the real thing. Alright. Now, Rene Descartes wrote several works. And this work happened to be an appendix to another work that he had. Okay, and you can go ahead and research that for yourself. But this is a very short work. It is based a lot on Euclid, Apollonius, and Pappus. And you can find that out as you read this thing. But anyway, let's go through the first thing he actually said. Because these are things he really did say. And this is an illustration in the very beginning of his book. 
You're like, oh, this is a real illustration. Oh, yes, it is. And I drew it out as best as I could here. All right? So what did he do? He drew a line like this. Okay? And he said that this is the length AB. Now, he talks about unity. This is where you get unit measure. Okay? He was one of the first to talk about unity. Now, for us, that means the number one. But it does not it's not always that easy because you have to understand that the measurements, the weights of measurements of his time are a little different than ours. But just because they're a little different doesn't mean that this won't work. Well, it does. It's just that his measurements are a little different than ours. Okay? That's, that's all it is. So he didn't specify the, the units he was using, but this is one unit here. Okay? Between A and B, that's one. Then Rene Descartes went ahead and drew a second line. This one right here. He plotted a point called C. He had not yet plotted a point called E yet. Okay? But he will. Alright, then he said, I want to extend this. He extended this line out and uh, this became AD. Okay? So what he was saying at this point is he wanted us to multiply the length of BD with BC. Let's assign some numbers to this. Let's suppose that BD is equal to 3. And let's say that the length of BC is equal to 2. Well, what's 3 times 2? Well, it's BE, or otherwise known as 6 in this one. Okay, so 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, obviously, if you draw this out physically like I did, you might use different measures. It doesn't matter. The point is, as long as this number multiplied, this number becomes this number, you're fine. Okay, now, what he said was, he took a, what he did was he drew a parallel line. He drew this line right here. And he drew a second line this line is parallel to this line. Okay? So, parallel line AC is parallel to line DE. That's what he said. And as long as line AC is parallel to line DE, then we can say that multiplying the length of BD and the length of BC will give you the length of BE. And he's absolutely correct on this. 3 times 2 equals 6. And that's what he said. That is exactly what he said. Okay? Alright. So, everything I just showed you, I, it works exactly. One of the things he emphasized was that you could take BD, line BD, like this, and instead of saying line BD, he could say BD is actually equal to the lowercase a, and BC is equal to the lowercase b. And so um, what you do is you take a times b and come up with x. That's what he was doing. Okay? Whoa, this guy well, made over. So what he did was he said, not only do I want you to keep track of this, okay, if you're going to convert these lines into actual letters, algebraic letters, keep track of them and then form your equation like this and always use a letter like x, y, or z to represent an unknown value. He did say that. And there you go. Alright. Next time I'm going to draw you an arc and show you that. Then we'll go on from there. But you are now seeing what he actually did say as opposed to what everybody thinks he said. Because he didn't say as much as they think he did. Alright. I'll tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.